Good morning, 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, November 7th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan, as we have a jam-packed Monday morning here to start the trading week. As you can see, going across the top, breaking news, Twitter is being sued. I'll let you see it. Twitter is being sued for violating employment laws after massive layoffs. So we knew that that wasn't going to be easy. So the breaking news this morning is Twitter is being sued for violating employment laws after massive layoffs. And that actually just came across the wire. But what I wanted to share here was Ripple. SEC summary judgment motion unlikely to be granted, says lawyer. So take note of this. And it's just like I've been saying, and I've stayed true. I don't give a shit about how many of you view me. I do this for historical evidence and historical data. But I also do this so the XRP community can understand the truth about XRP's price movement. I understand the truth about the XRP lawsuit and how there likely will never be a settlement because as Brad Garlinghouse himself said, the only way he would ever settle with the SEC is if they said he's not a security, XRP. We know that's not going to happen. The SEC would rather bend over and take it up the old you-know-what. So let's read what this has to say. Then we're going to get into how a... A 71 million XRP changed hands on FTX, and we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to look at the charts. The XRP community's fan favorite lawyer, Jeremy Hogan, has once again commented via Twitter on the current state of the court case between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Hogan cited attorney Johnny Deaton, who represents over 75,000 XRP investors in the litigation after Judge Torres denied Deaton's motion to intervene. She allowed the filing of amicus brief. So... As a result of the amicus briefs file, or briefs, or as a result, Deaton filed his amicus brief for all XRP investors last week. Of Deaton's group, more than 3,000 took the opportunity to file an affidavit. Ripple versus SEC, why summary judgment isn't very likely to happen. According to Hogan, the SEC will not be able to meet its burden of proof on at least one element of the Howey test. This is where Deaton and the XRP investors who have made their voices heard in court and play a crucial role. Ripple, SEC could, oh, that's a, that's a, just some FUD headline. As Hogan went on to discuss, the SEC must do two things in order for the summary judgment motion to succeed. First, it must prove every element by the greater weight of the evidence and prove that there is no genuine dispute of a material fact. However, this factual argument is built on a very shaky ground. Specifically, the argument is that XRP investors bought into the token based on Ripple's promise of a higher price. The SEC is relying solely on a few statements from tech company and a handful of buyers. Its own expert on the subject has let the SEC down. As Deaton wrote, the SEC's original intent was to rely on the mere speculation of a purported expert who failed to interview on a single XRP holder before forming his opinion. The SEC offers no evidence related to the knowledge or conduct attributable to Amici or any XRP holder. SEC expert admitted that the he might have come to a different conclusion upon learning that XRP holders acquired XRP for non-investment purposes. Further, the attorney argues that in the complaint and complaint entire sections were devoted to XRP buyers. However, on their motion for summary judgment, the SC avoids any testimony on XRP holders. It avoids such evidence because it destroys the false narrative presented by the SEC, Deaton says. Ripple counters the SEC with its own expert witness. Correlating XRP price trends with market forces, especially since 2018. In addition, the company now had 3,000 affidavits from Deaton and XRP holders who did not buy XRP because of Ripple. Hogan therefore concludes that the SC has failed to meet its burden of proof over the past nearly two years. A handful of statements over eight years versus expert opinion and 3,000 affidavits, but even putting that aside, is there a genuine issue of material fact here? Ripple has submitted direct hard evidence that a reasonable XRP purchaser was not relying on Ripple to increase price, which that... To me, that just seems pretty shaky in itself. You're telling me people are buying XRP for the price not to go up? I mean, that's just bullshit to me. A retail investor does not care about the digital flip, doesn't care about how much Ripple can move for big business. They're buying it to get rich. And if you're watching me, make no mistake about it, you are buying XRP because you think you're going to make money. And don't give me the bullshit of anything else. I understand through the comments and I understand through the demeanor of the audience and the XRP communities yeah, we get a lot of egg on the face because most of the XRP influencers don't tell you the truth. I do, and I'm, I'll am i be damned if the XRP community continues to have a black eye 
because of the misinformation. I'm going to give you the truth regardless of the views. I would rather have less views than to tell you the genuine news, the truth, and the charts. If I'm going to tell you the truth, if I'm going to not fought it up, and you're going to be able to come to a true opinion, because I'm not a financial advisor and it's up to each and every one of my men, my women in the audience to come to a logical and sane conclusion, you're only going to be able to do that if I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not a bullshitter. I'm not going to tickle your balls. But what I will do is I'll insert you in the proper positioning and you can leave that up to the imagination. And then in the one day chart, no, oh, I don't see how the judge ignores that evidence and grant summary judgment on this prong of the test, not saying the SEC can't win, but it can't win here. In the one day chart, the XV price is currently experiencing a signal for a trend change. The 100 day simple moving average line is crossing the 200 day moving simple moving average line from the bottom to the top indicating the potential for a new uptrend and i'm talking about the possibility to move up to 65 cents on this inverted head and shoulders especially after we broke out of the ascending triangle so it goes right up our alley let's take a look at the xrp chart and then we're going to look at uh the 71 million xrp flowed um to the fdx exchange there's some stuff going on there so first things first on a monday morning we can't simply just go into xrp so in the futures dow jones futures is up approximately 85 points this or 81 points this morning we've got the dxy that completely reversed it's on to 110 spot 28 got off to a hot start but now it is completely reversed it's kind of like what we talked about the other day we're in this bearish continuation on the u.s dollar currency index we failed to hold the uptrend at 110.73 now it looks like we're going to come down to about 108.55 unless we hold this 109.552 if we don't hold that we got a long ways to go still it'll be about 108.50 to 109 level approximately. I think it's 108.50, we'll say. So the DXY is looking a little bearish this morning. US 10 year is up. Just, what is that? Not even a two tenths of a basis point, a five tenths of a percent to 4.165. Crude oil is up 0.14%. They're down 0.13%, but it's a little shaky this morning. So expect uh, your oil commodity stocks possibly to be either even or down just a tad i would say your oil stocks are going to be hit a little bit harder this morning if anything they should have a quick reversal as long as the price per barrel continues to go up this morning so you see pbr is down a little bit gold's flat only down 85 cents which means mining stocks should be okay this morning um we had a great day on friday and it'd be nice to hold this rally we've got so gold sitting at 16.79 spot 14 down one dollar and 17 cents today per ounce we've got platinum up seven bucks or 0.73 percent to 967 spot five zero we've got silver holding on to this big gain from the open friday we have we're up over seven and a half percent we're flat right now but we're at 20 spot 85 and fortuna silver mines up to a 13 percent gain on friday we won't know yet because there's no trades in pre-market and copper is down 2.46 percent this morning so that's a pretty big beat this morning or nine, just over nine cents, the three, three spot six zero seven per pound. Tethers remaining on par with USD, which is good. I always have to look at that. And then the total crypto market cap is getting hit a little bit. It's down 29 billion to 979 billion. And look where it hit perfectly. My 1.02 trillion initial target. Then we talked about a consolidation. If it can hold that, we'll go up to 1.13. That is what I'm looking at this morning. Other than that, if it gets rejected here and comes back down, it would have to come back and probably try to rehold a uptrending support, which we can now put in here. We don't have to guess anymore because the pattern's giving it to us. And once the pattern gives it to you, we'll take it. Don't be a dick. Take the pattern and then understand said pattern because then you can try to figure out the uptrending support. So right now we're going to look at a hold. And this is how simple it is, I know. But once you understand what you're doing, you too can trade and have a better understanding of the market. So 959.92. So 959 billion is where we're going to look to hold on a retracement because it's going to come back down. It's going to come back down and it's going to try to hold this uptrend. This return rally, there's just been very little volume here. So it doesn't look done. It looks like it's going to come down here to this uptrending support. So what does that mean for XRP? Well, to understand XRP, we will have to understand Bitcoin as well. Bitcoin's down, where are we at now with Bitcoin? Down 0.85% or 177 bucks. 20,727. 
Bitcoin could not hold this uptrending support line. And that's a very critical one now that we've gotten rejected by it. We may, if we get rejected by the 20 day, all we have to do, and this is completely normal, folks, completely normal. So it's one of those nothing to see here moments if this comes true. This will just retap the support at 20,425 on the top side. And it's either going to hold it or it's going to continue running through to the true uptrending support that was formed in the area before this recent part of the pattern. And it will come down here and finally verify it after a nice breakout. Then it could come back up here at like 20K, 19.8. But that's only if we lose this pivot support at 20,416. So based on everything we've seen this morning with XRP, we broke that uptrend. We're now perfectly back testing it. And remember we talked about yesterday, we needed to hold that 473 support roughly. You lose that uptrend and back test it like we're doing right now with no volume. I mean, no volume. This is shit volume. In 30 minutes, you're putting up 211,000 in volume. Ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't get it done. You see up here when we were making moves, 1.42 million, 1.029 million. That's what I'm saying. In XRP, we go by the millions when we're making moves, not the hundreds of thousands. That's a dead giveaway that this pattern probably isn't going anywhere and it's going to reverse like, it's going to look like ass in a minute. Unless this can pop up and get back above here and make a return rally. If you see us get rejected here, which it's not 100%, but if you see 47.73 actually hold, well, then you know we're probably coming back down here to 44.18. Or at minimum, this consolidation zone at 45.50. And that's my fear this morning, that a lot of people are going to get trapped and we're going to get caught. So that's what I'm going to leave the update as this morning because I want you guys to see the actual pattern set up. And then we're going to read what's going on with the XRP uh, token shift in hands, the whales. And all my charts speak to the same thing this morning. We've had massive breakouts. I think the perpetual futures chart would be a good uh, understanding of exactly what's going on. So let's bring this into the four-hour time frame. Still within this pattern, ladies and gentlemen. We're still within the bull flag. And until we break out or break down, it's going to be really hard to trade this. So my suggestion to you is wait for it to hit this uptrending support. Or at 42.84, 43 cents. Or you get over the top. You know, and go long to 55 or 58. Or you just get rejected up here. Get rejected at 52, 5, 53. Then you can short it back down here. But until you're in the proper location of the patterns, it's really hard to trade this. So pay attention to what I'm saying, and then we'll leave with this. If you want to trade XRP like me before we read this little article, make sure you go to my past videos. All you have to do is my videos. Oh, beautiful. That video got 1,300 views. Nice. Thank you, guys. Um, go to a video of one of my past ones. Just click on it. Click more. And then to the right, you can see there's a maxi... Uh, they call it a competition, but I consider it like uh, a way to get us more free coins. So if you trade the futures, you can win up to $20,000 USDT and it starts today. All you have to do is click up on my link so you can get in there and make sure you know what you're doing. To join Tom's Army, click the Join Tom's Army link. It'll bring you right here. This is what the membership tab looks like to the members of the legendary supporter. So, and then you just, you'll get the, uh, you'll be part of Tom's Army. If not, it'll say join for $9.99 a month. Upon joining, you will get this, which is my exclusive telegram. Um, Where the hell is Tom's Army? Tom's Army right here. 239 members in here, 18 people talking. It's been nice reading it this morning. And, uh. Even when I'm not giving updates, you can go in here. I've also got a futures leverage trading that there's so many people in here that do it. And money's being made, folks. So if you want to come in here and join some of the pros in here, not everybody comes in here. We have 230 members and only 67 came in here. But we've got some major. Josh is a, is a trip to Ruby is. Chris, all these guys and gals in here that are helping out. It's been tremendous. A lot of money being hand made. A lot of money changing hands as far as understanding a little system philosophy and we do share in there when we're going to make trades i always share in there when i'm about to make a trade um i only talk about the ones that i'm trading because if somebody else is suggesting what to trade i'm not going to fudge up what they're saying unless somebody personally asks me i'll just add to what they're saying or i'll just simply agree and give them a like according to crypto data tracker well alert over 71 million xrp flowed to ftx exchange in recent hours the move was done in two transactions 
The first was 35,774,039 XRP worth, $16,631,186. And the second was 35,615,409 XRP worth $16,557,439. Both were transferred from unknown wallets to the FTX exchange. So that's what I'm seeing this morning. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. When we do our update this early, it'll either be early afternoon or late morning because I'm going to get in my 11th workout right now. This is my 11th uh, weight training day. I used to be a personal trainer, but as you know, I broke my back, suffered many injuries. So I started getting back into, I just, all I'm doing is my own weight training. I'm doing it at home. I've got my dumbbells. I know how to do advanced movements and it builds pretty quickly. So that's what I'm going to do next. So hopefully this information found you well. And in today's update this afternoon or early, late morning, I'm going to cover the gold market, silver, and we're going to go over not only XLM, we got to cover DGB, and we're going to also, it's probably going to be, if XRP doesn't move a lot, we're going to do a quick XRP look, but then we'll do an XLM DGB and likely go through our ISO coins. I'm really interested in continuing on our expansion with Algo, with Hedera, HBAR, and also IOTA, and continuing to teach you in the internet of things with DGB. Stay blessed, everybody.